Hi, it's Tom with Digital Foundry. And it's Rich here. So, with the price of solid state drives low drastically in recent years, we start to wonder, just how does the console experience benefit from an upgrade to a faster SSD, in particular on PS4? Now, bearing in mind each PS4 ships with a 5400 RPM mechanical stock drive, there's obviously a lot of room for improvement in overall read speeds. So the question is, how are we going to test this? It looks like you've got a couple of drives here. Yeah, I keep glancing at them. So basically, we've got the stock HDST drive here, and we've got the OCZ solid state drive. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the cheaper ones on the spectrum, uh, about 100 quid, a little bit more perhaps right now. But uh, crucially, as the high read and write speeds we're looking for. And what about that last one over there? I assume that's some sort of hybrid drive. Yep. We need this as a kind of middle ground. It's the one terabyte Seagate we've used in a lot of our tests before. Mm -hmm. And it's a mechanical drive with a solid state cache. It's larger, of course, but it gets as close-ish to SSD speeds and for less money. But the question is, how far ahead does the full-blown SSD pull ahead? Okay, Doke, so the games we'll be testing on all three are obviously the big hits where loading times have proved to be a big factor in the experience. So we're talking about the likes of Just Cause 3, Fallout 4, and of course, The Witcher 3. Yeah, that's right. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get this straight. We are starting with real time, and then when we're going into loading, we move to 3x speed. Yeah, I vary this depending on the game. Obviously, Bloodborne, you know, it's taken 16 seconds on the solid state, 23 on the hybrid, and uh, 30 on the so last So effectively one. you've halved your loading time by moving to SSD. Still a substantial improvement on the, on the hybrid though. And this is a kind of repeat of that same test. It's mm -hmm. the great bridge and you know it gives us a good boost to uh, get us about halfway I guess and this is really where the main gains are made in Bloodborne transferring mm -hmm. from one area to the next via the Hunter's Dream mm -hmm. hub area. I've tried a few other areas. I think Old Yarnum is the longest uh, area to load up. Again, it's 30 on the stock and 15 on the uh, solid state. Mm -hmm. And you'll find every time the hybrid always comes midway between the two. Mm -hmm. So you can see a direct seven second upgrade on the SSHD and seven mm -hmm. seconds again on the solid state. So you died, you do a lot of this in Bloodborne, don't you? And a lot yes. of reloading. This is a crucial test, obviously. And I was a bit disappointed, check this out. Okay, 14 seconds, and 16. 16. So just a two second uh, optimization there, improvement. Yeah. So if you're buying the SSD to improve your respawn times, it's maybe not that worth it, but considering mm -hmm. how often you have to kind of redirect, you can only go to a new area via the Hunter's Dream, which we're going mm -hmm. to here it adds up after a while. Okay. And you kind of benefit from that if you're transferring between areas quickly. Mm -hmm. So Fallout 4. Fallout 4, it's an interesting one. It's the first in our gamut of open world games. And you know the SSD shaves off up to about 26 seconds mm -hmm. on an initial load of an area. So you can get some pretty substantial gains here. In this case, it's like 13, but this is only for initial loads you're getting much faster res returns when you're you know, dying and reloading or fast okay. traveling, say you're moving from Vault 111 out to the main world, mm -hmm. this is much faster. So in the first place, it isn't the worst deal in the world if you're running on stock, mm -hmm. but that SSD does boost things. Not a great uh, boost with the SSHD there. Yeah, I was surprised about this. The SSHD usually comes, you know, 50% of the games you get from an SSD, but mm -hmm. here, across the board, pretty much you're getting far less than that. It's actually quite close to the stock in, in some tests. Mm -hmm. It does vary, but definitely the SSD is the way to go here. Mm -hmm. Concord Town is a good a example. loading there, that's just outrageous really. When yeah, you it. yeah, absolutely. And, and Diamond City is among the uh, the worst offenders. We had to stick this up to four times speed to make it viewable. <laughs> okay. So okay. 28 seconds on the SSD, 40 on the hybrid, and 49 on the stock drive. So it's about a 10 second differential between all three. Mm -hmm. That's pretty reasonable. 
just cause three decks. This is the biggest saver. Now the game. funny thing is, this has been patched to have better loading times. But That's right. It still sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So after that patch went out, I had to redo all our tests yeah, to I make this that. happen. <laughs> I wasn't best pleased. But these are the most up-to-date results for the game. 1.02, and it is still not great. Um, over a minute for the initial load. This is the new game. Mm -hmm. and you're cutting off uh, about 26 seconds there. Yeah, I should say that the uh, same game on PC with an SSD, it's much, much faster, even than your SSD result here. Notably though, what they did do in the patch was improve respawn times. Okay. So it's not reloading all the same assets as afresh. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, halving that. And across SSD, SSHD and stock, it's actually much more bearable, but obviously the, the clear choice is SSD there. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And this is basically a repeat of the new game. You know, you basically load an area when you first boot the game. That's right, yeah. You end up sort of slouching onto that car. There we go. That's it. Now, an interesting thing about this is these aren't the best times you can get. Mm -hmm. If you play the game offline, you save 10 seconds from each of these tests. Right, okay. We, I mean, I decided to go with the online testing because this seemed like the way most people play it with the leaderboards and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. but and most people are online anyway when they when they Yeah, game. but it does uh, show there's a bit more background work mm -hmm. going on. Again, uh, not much difference there between the two uh, mechanical drives there, yeah. the hybrid and the stock. Not it's great at all. Bit of a shame, to be honest. So, The Witcher 3, another classic long-loading game. Yep, and another sort of open-world title which mm. really demands all these assets being streamed in uh, uh, with yep. an initial load. So it's a minute and a half is what you'll eventually see for the stock. Uh -huh. That is not a great saving in well, the grand scheme. It's so, Well, one minute nine on an SSD is absolutely outrageous. Yes, it is a, about 23 seconds cut down, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But still too long. We also tried, you know, fast traveling, because it's one thing to say you're loading the game and that's how long it takes. Mm -hmm. GTA 5 has a long load, but after that point, you're in. Yeah, it's worry. just streaming. But yeah, Witcher yeah. 3 has fast travel, which incurs loading between areas. And, you know, you save about 10 seconds if you go to an SSD. So that's that's all right. That's pretty acceptable. It's all right, yeah. Uh -huh. Now, this, you'll notice, is six times speed. This is a big one. <laughs> six times speed, OK. Yeah, because Crookback Bog takes ages to load. The worst thing is, this is the initial load, mm -hmm. so it'll take you about one minute. Now watch what happens when I reload this, you know, I die in the same area to those, okay. those ghouls. I say, okay, I want to retry that. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, this is quite a piece of work. <laughs> when you really uh, play it out like this, okay. it takes over so that. So the SSD takes a minute and we're still going on the two yep. other drives. But crucially, it took one minute on the stock drive before, just to initially load it. Now it takes even longer. Okay. And all these drives suffer from the same thing. It takes mm -hmm. longer to reload after okay. you've died in Witcher 3. And it's a bit of a shame. Project Cars next. Yeah, we uh, kind of a bit of a different genre to try. Obviously, you're loading up a uh, race with all your chosen settings. Yeah, there won't be any streaming here, as I understand it as such. It will be loading in all of the assets for the race, all of the cars, all of the environment. That's and right. Uh -huh. And so the way I've organized this test is to have 16 cars on the first one, 31 cars on the Azure Coast, mm -hmm. and uh, 44 on Le Mans 24 okay. hours. And there seems to be a correlation between the number of cars you are loading and the time it takes. Yeah, it sort of makes sense. It sort of makes sense, yeah. And the fact is, you do save, but not a load. You know, it's mm -hmm. 10 seconds off each race, five to 10 seconds, and maybe three or five on the SSHD. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, worthwhile, but it is more of a bonus, I'd say. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to get an SSD just for this game. Mm -hmm. It's a good case of... Uh, it's just a bonus extra, really, to get a few seconds shaved off, but it's, yeah. not, it's not a game changer, is it? I thought it was worth trying to quit to the menu because it takes a little bit of time to do that every time, and no gains, no gains whatsoever there. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's uh, on the periphery if you're considering an SSD. Not a big case for it. Metal Gear Solid 5 actually has reasonable loading times, about 20-ish seconds on mm -hmm. the stock drive. That is chopped down by about five, and later tests, about 10. 
10 seconds. Well, you know, a if they are fast loading and you're getting like 10 seconds, that's actually a reasonably decent percentage increase. Yeah, looking at percentage, it's 50%, yeah. isn't mm -hmm. it? So the SST HD is about 7 seconds in every mission you try to load. Mm -hmm. And it's significant for the same reason it is for Bloodborne, because you go back to the command center and okay, then you, okay. choose, you know, go, go out to a new mission. And so you're constantly toing and froing between all these spots. So it can add up. And I think it's a good case for it, but not essential. You know, mm -hmm. it was okay. already fine before. And that about wraps it up. So the verdict is pretty simple, I guess. Uh, an SSD gets you a pretty substantial increase in some games, like Just Cause 3 and Fallout 4. But for others like Project Cars and Metal Gear, it's more of a small bonus. Yeah, it seems to benefit games with open world structures more from what I can see. You, you get a huge chunk of time back on the SSD there. Hybrid drive isn't bad at all though. And on average, it seems to get us around 50% of the gains we're getting on an SSD. Well, I think it's impressive stuff either way. The Premier experience is definitely on SSD. It's just a matter of whether you want to budget for that faster speed or the higher capacity of the hybrid drive. Uh, personally, I went with the SSD. You know, I'm a big fan of Bloodborne and I thought, you know, loading between areas much faster would be good for me and my playing experience. Yeah, so I guess it's a matter of which games you're intending to play, really. Yeah, it comes down to your preference in games. Uh, though with the prices of SSDs coming down quite sharply these days, it should be a much easier choice to make coming year or two. But uh, anyway, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this analysis, like or subscribe below. Let us know what you think in the comments and until next time, thanks for watching.